Doctors at the Maine Children's Hospital in Kyiv setting up an emergency department to handle the influx of injured children. But that hospital isn't dealing with just the wounded. Seriously injured kids still too sick to flee the country, also caught in the crosshairs. Coverage now from our sister network Sky News and their reporter Deborah Haynes in Kyiv. The trauma of war in a children's hospital. This boy was hit by gunfire as Russian forces advanced on Ukraine's capital. Just 14 years old, he suffered face, back and leg wounds three nights ago. His latest procedure described as minor surgery. Russia's invasion prompted medics to set up this makeshift emergency department. Three children have been brought in so far, including a 10-year-old who died en route. That was the quiet place with just kids, with the scheduled operations, and now, in one moment, it changes. So, okay, this is war. We are and Two days ago, we have the gunfights all around the block with the artillery fights, etc., etc. But this night was a little bit calm. So, and uh, the war changes the priority. So now, if you can take a shower and take a coffee, this luxury. <laughs> He's barely slept. As well as preparing to treat war casualties, he and his colleagues have an equally vital job to do. Here in the emergency department, the doctors are tired, they're worried about an influx of more patients, and they're also worried about what to do with the very sick children who are being treated in this hospital before the war started. The lights are off because of the we should be like, nobody should see us. So we without light. Four-year-old Nikita has leukemia. He receives chemotherapy and blood transfusions. The little boy also has Down syndrome. But usually, uh, usually children should not be in the corridor. The noise every you can hear is his teeth be. grinding, something he's done since Russian missiles started falling. This is where he should be treated. But his mother now has to shuttle up and down from the basement, where it's safer for them to stay. How are you feeling dealing with all of this? I'm sorry to ask. You know, uh, trembling, hands are trembling, um, um, legs are like you're, uh, you are in fitness gym because downstairs um, 10,000 uh, meters a day, uh, steps a day, uh, up and down with children, with bags. She wants to take him out of the country, but it's hard. Our children can't live uh, without hospital, without medical treatment. You, you know, it's just uh, a few days and, and that's all. So we should, if we will go to another country, we should uh, cross uh, the border, but with a doctor. They're not alone. Other children dealt the same cruel blows fighting life-threatening disease in the middle of a war zone and with Russian forces closing in on the capital. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Kyiv. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.